you're figuring out the expectations, you're defining those career goals and objectives, and you're meeting the many different people in that great organization you're lucky to work with. Whether you're a student, you're a CEO of a company, you're in business, or you're an engineer in industry, you probably are working on a grand engineering challenge. So I'd like you to think, what is that grand engineering challenge that you're working on? And now, I want you to think, what is the solution you have defined for that grand engineering challenge? And now I want you to ask skeptically, is that solution going to make a gigaton of difference? And so why do I say gigaton? Well, the gigaton is a quantifiable parameter, right? And it relates to my grand challenge. I'm interested in creating sustainable solutions for water, energy, and food technologies. So when we talk about sustainability, it's always directly linked to carbon, the principal element of life. How much carbon is emitted every year is astounding. Nearly 23 gigatons is emitted each year by ourselves. And what's more alarming is that each year, that number increases by one gigaton. So what I realized is that if I wanna make a contribution to sustainability, the, my ultimate goal has to be to remove CO2 from the atmosphere. So maybe, your grand engineering challenge isn't to solve the global warming crisis. Maybe it's something different. Maybe it's reducing the cost of your product by 10 times so that your product can be available to 100 million people rather than 100,000. And by putting your product in the hands of 100 million people, you change their lives dramatically. Maybe your quantifiable parameter is creating a product that has never been created before. Or maybe your quantifiable parameter is innovating some social or educational initiative which will change the face of engineering as we know it. No matter what your quantifiable parameter is, you need to be open to collaborating. So the way that we collaborate is gonna be different tomorrow than it is today, and we need to be ready for that. If I understand my collaborator's problems and my collaborator understands my problems, we're gonna solve that solution much quicker. I'm not saying that you have to be an expert chemist. But what I'm saying is if your grand engineering challenge and your gigaton defined solution has chemistry in it, you need to learn chemistry or be open to learning chemistry. And the easiest way to do that is through your collaborators and through actively listening to your collaborators in and out of meetings, after work, during lunch, whenever you have the opportunity. Because they're gonna be able to elucidate that new field quicker to you and relate it to what you're working on already. Next. You have to be prepared to reinvent your solution. A perfect example is where I find myself today. I'm a faculty member at Georgia Tech. And while it would have been nice to use the tens of thousands of hours that I invested in my PhD topic and take that and run with it for 10, 20, 30, 40 years and create my gigaton solution to my problem using that, when I sat down and looked at that work, I saw the many scientific contributions that could be had there but it wasn't going to meet the gigaton defined solution I had wanted to meet. So this whole last year I've been pivoting. I've been changing my research area and looking into new ideas and it was hard, but if I know I can pivot now, if I can reinvent myself now, I know I'm gonna be able to do it tomorrow or the next day when my initial conditions change again. So that means day by day, week by week, year by year, you have to push yourself higher and move your problem forward. You need to be prepared to reinvent your solution as the initial conditions of the world change. And you need to commit yourself and your team to excellence, and if you do that, you may make a gigaton of difference.